of God who moves the whole world, move our lives, that we may move with you, move into your power and presence, that the whole world may be moved to you. Use us, Lord. Bless us, Lord, that we will move with you and move the whole world. All over the world, the Spirit is moving. All over the world, as the prophets said it would be. All over the world, that's a mighty revelation of the glory of the Lord as the waters covered the sea. Deep down in my heart, the Spirit is moving. Praise the Lord. My dear friends, God is on move in many mighty ways. Psalm 104 verse 30 says, The Lord comes with the Spirit and renews the whole world. In Isaiah 43 verse 19 he says, Open your eyes and see, your God is doing mighty things in you. He opens the river in the desert. He makes the highway in the deep forest. Open your eyes. God is moving ahead of you. Move with Him and all that of God will move with Him. Move for you. If you don't move with God, even what God has given to you will move away from you. Your enemy will rob away from you. Yes, my dear friends, today's first reading is from the book of Genesis chapter 15 where God comes and tells Abraham, my son, I will be a great treasure for you. Walk with me. I will make a covenant with you and your life will be great. But he refused to move with the thought of God because his thought of the world and his thought of what others have spoken about him tied him up. He said, what is the use of you being a treasure for me, I don't have a child. My servant, Elias's child, is going to rule all that I have. When God speaks about the treasures of heaven, Abraham's minds are tied up with the treasures of this earth. So God never gives us up, even when we don't understand him. He tells him, look up at the stars, count them. Abraham could not count. Your children will be like that. Your descendants will be like that. Your blessings will be like that. Move with God. Think of God. And all that of God will move with you. When Abraham could not understand it, God said, my son, all that in the world is not permanent. They all will pass away. But your God will remain with you who is permanent. He tells him, go and bring the three-year-old heifer, the cow, which gives plenty of milk to you. He cut them into two pieces. He asked him, go and bring three-year-old ram and three-year-old sheep. The sheep will move wherever we go, but the ram will not listen to us. It will go. If somewhere, if we find a greenery, it will go in your life. There will be many people. Some will follow you. Some will not listen to you. We have to cut them and offer them on the altar of the Lord. And the Lord says, get the pigeon, get the dove, cut them into pieces and put, it them, put them on the altar. Pigeon is one which will hit you. The dove is the one who will play with you. If you go near the pigeon of the forest, it will come and hit you. In life, people will hit you for no reason. But in same life, there will be people who will be always with you, 
even when you are calm down. They will always love you, remain with you. Life is made of good and bad. But only when we offer it to God, only with His power, we can move on in life. If we uh, don't have God with us, we will get stuck up with the world. Sometimes God doesn't allow us to move ahead. The things may look as though the doors are closed. Do you know why? Sometimes God closes the door because it's time to move forward. Unless He forces us, we will not move forward. So He will close the door, but He will never leave you. Abraham was not given the child for a purpose to receive the Lord, to be aware of the mighty power of God who can give everything for him. Yes. When it's your turn, it doesn't matter. Even if you are on the last line, he will bring you to the front line. Yes. It is your turn. God said to Abraham, come up in life. Believe in your God. Life is yours. I will bless you and you will be a great blessing, my dear children of God. Today the Lord is asking us, wherever you get stuck up, move with God. Only when you move with God, all that of God will move with you. God is on move to do mighty things in your life. If you don't move with Him, all that of the world will take away even the little what God has given to you. In the second reading of today, we find that our life is safe in the hands of God, which is the continuation of Today's first reading, when Abraham offered everything to God, suddenly a crow came trying to eat up the offering of Abraham. Abraham's heart might have been broken. With hard work, I am offering to God and the enemy is trying to catch it in your life also. You may be trying to follow the Lord. Suddenly, you became flat in your sin. You, are, you feel that you cannot move anymore. The Lord told Abraham, take your stick and cast away that fly, that the crow that comes to eat up the offering which he prepared for God. As he was trying to chase away, he did whatever he could. Suddenly he became tired. Sleep comes and he fell down. The moment he was falling, God took over where Abraham left. God came with a great fire from heaven. Not only it took the offering of Abraham, it also burnt away the crow. Yes, in life, we have to move with God. As we move with God, sometimes certain things will not be clear to us. Sometimes we may think the enemy is attacking us. Do whatever you can. The rest God will take over that's why in today's second reading, St. Paul says in the book of Philippians chapter 3, verse 17 to chapter 4, verse 1, our life is in heaven. Our home is heaven. We are moving every day towards God and the problems will come, struggles will come, leave them as they are. Like in every tree, as the tree grows, the once upon a time, the green leaves they become dry leaves. The same way, as we move on, many things we thought will be ours, which is beautiful to us, will not be beautiful. The people who help us, they may not be with us. Even they may die, they may disappear. Don't get upset by the things that you are holding on is not standing with you. Move on in life. The one who gave life will be always with us to make everything meaningful and life-giving. But with a great pain, St. Paul says, there are people who are behaving like the enemies of the cross. Means they refuse to accept the suffering that come on their way. For every little suffering, they begin to question God. They don't understand through the cross, Jesus redeemed the world. Sometimes God may allow certain painful experience in your life. 
doesn't mean God has left you. You need to delight in the Lord and move forward like St. Paul who was being put into the jail. He continued to praise God to bring glory from the jail. Yes, we have to move with God for God to do mighty things through us. But some people do everything to satisfy their own body at any cost. They make the things of this world so important at the cost of holding on to this world. They lose sight of that which is precious, that which is life-giving. And when they realize that which they thought so precious in the world, they worked day and night all their life to yearn something, to hold on to something. When that disappears, their life is so much discarded and broken. That's why in today's gospel, we read Luke's gospel, chapter 9, verse 28 to 36, our life begins to end the day. We become silent about the things that matters most. Our life comes to an end. The day we stop to think and do the things that matters so much. Jesus asked Peter, John and James, I am going to be killed. Now is the time. You need to empower yourself. Come up and pray. It's a very important matter. But they slept. They didn't bother to pray. And they could not stand with Jesus. When Jesus was hanging on the cross for six and a half hours, Peter could not be there even for a minute. Why? Because when the things are so matter for Christ and when they don't matter to us, our life will end. Yes, faith may move mountains, but prayer will move God. Jesus went up and prayed to the Father, give me the power to carry the cross, to do your will. Peter and John and James, they were sleeping. When it is the matter most to empower themselves, to move with the Master who is going to the cross, they could not move with Him because they were got stuck up with their body. They were got stuck up with their sleep because it is time for sleep. No. The Bible teaches us God doesn't move in your life when you struggle. He moves when you pray. They were struggling, sleeping, and they are not able to know what's happening to them. But when Jesus was praying, the Father moved. He transformed his normal body into a glorious body, revealing to us what is our identity, what is our goal, what is our purpose. Yes, Jesus came down. But Peter says, please remain. Because he saw Elijah and Moses. He doesn't know what he talks. I will make three homes for you. Jesus says, you don't understand. You never heard the voice of God. Which said to Jesus, he is my beloved son. Listen to him. But those who are supposed to listen, they could not listen. So Jesus said, that voice is for you. Come down. My dear friends, God is on the move. God is on building you and me. God wants the power of heaven to be part of you. That you be filled with his power and glory. And to transform this broken, sinful world. The world is dying. And the world is in need of God. And God is moving before you. That you move with him. You possess him. And give him to this broken world. You are his hope. You are his light. Move on with God. May all that of God, the glory and power, love and mercy, compassion of God move with you and you are the joy of God. May God bless you. Let's pray. Thank you, Father, for these three beautiful readings through which you teach us that you move in the world in a marvelous way and you want us to move with you that all that of yours will move with us. If we don't move with you, even the little we have, the enemy will rob it and make us zero 
No, Lord, it cannot happen. Thank you, Lord, as you have shown so much love for Peter who denied you and James and John, the apostles who slept. Lord, we are weak, but we know you are powerful. You are glorious. You are gracious. And in your grace, our lives will be rebuilt. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. In Jesus' name, I surrender all those who are listening to the word. May they all move with you, with your glory and power. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. My dear friends, Sangamam Plus TV is God's gift for you for our times. Like, comment, share and subscribe. God will do wonders in your life. Praise the Lord.